Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of Basic Japanese for people as lazy as me. I am currently in the absolutely swelteringly hot home ec room. Uh, today is episode number eight, the top, not, and ha portions of the katakana. Let's do this. Okay, so let's take a look at these things. Just like we had before, some of them kind of look a little bit familiar. Ta, chi, remember the T thing has the CH instead of the T there. Su, which looks remarkably familiar to several others. Te, to, na, ni, nu, ne, no. Nu might give some people a little bit of trouble. Uh, ha, he, who, remember it's like with the F sounds thing. He, which is identical to the one that's in hiragana, by the way. And ho. So let's take a look at these. Okay, so we've got the T's, right? Ta, chi, tsu, te, and to. It's really weird that I'm, I'm like looking at the picture on the iPad rather than at the camera, which is right there. So it's always like I'm almost looking at you, but I'm just looking slightly off to the side. Must be weird for you guys. Anyway, let's take a look at this, right? Ta has one, two, three strokes in it, right? So we've got first stroke, this sort of like diagonal kind of curvy thing. Second stroke, just like ku from before. But the third stroke connects in there like that. Ta. Ta. Kind of messy, but you know. Next up is chi. Chi, right? So we've got the first one is more like horizontal than it is vertical, right? The next one is just a straight up horizontal line. So this way first, then that way. And then the last one, you take this like line here and just sort of have it come down. Chi. Ba ba ba. Chi. Easy. Looks kind of like someone tried to write four and did it really wrong. Next up is Tsu. This is part of that stupid nightmare set that I talked about before. I don't remember what I called it in the last video, but anyway, it's the dumb ones. Because you know you've got So and Mm and She, which we talked about. Um, but this one starts one, one, two, one, two, from the top down, two, two. Notice you can tell it's a little bit different from she, which is like that. You, it's really just down to like looking at this stupid line, right? It's dumb. Anyway. So there's your two. Next is te. Remember the te from before looks like this. And it's at least a little bit similar if you ask me. Te's first one is a, a horizontal line. Second one is a slightly longer horizontal line. And the third one is like a little curved thing that comes off the bottom. If you, uh, you've probably seen it before, if you've watched any like animes that are normal daily life or whatever, you see this symbol a lot, which looks kind of like a te, but it's actually just the symbol for post office. It's not a kanji or anything, it's just the symbol for post office. It looks like te, but it's not. And finally, to. To is the easiest one from this one. First is a vertical stroke, second is a vertical stroke with a little tiny thing coming off of it. To. Right? Ta, chi, su, te, to. Easy. Can you even see that? Ta, chi, su, te, to. Good stuff. Alright, next up is the N set. Na, ni, nu, ne, and no. Na is relatively easy. Na starts with one, like, horizontal line. Easy. I really should make a sleeve and actually see me while I'm doing this. Whatever, it doesn't make a difference. Na, easy stuff, right? Next one, uh, next one, here, and then it just sort of comes down. And that's not. That's the whole thing. No. Next up is knee. Remember before we had this thing. Right? Kind of like that. Uh, this one is just take this, erase that bit, and make these two straight. So first one is here. Second one is here. It's like an equal sign with the bottom line slightly longer than the top one. Ni. Nu kind of looks like Su from before, 
with it crossing that line instead. So new makes this sort of, you know, seven shape, and then cross that line. New. Do not get it confused with ma, which comes later, or su, which we've already got, or fu, which is coming up soon. Nu. Ne is probably the most complicated one. Several strokes in it, right? First one's a little top, like, top knot thing on top. Second one is this thing. Third one is an extra tail coming off the bottom there. And the fourth one comes at the bottom. So that's ne. One, two, three, four. Four strokes. Kind of annoying, but you know, it's how it's going to go. Um, anyone who's seen, actually quite a few anime, will have seen this kanji before, which means god, like kami kind of thing. But uh, just take this bit of it, and it's the katakana for ne. Finally, no. No is a single stroke. It's probably the easiest of all the katakana. No is like that. Like in, in hiragana, you've got your no, which does this sort of thing. But in katakana, they took that even simpler and just went, nah, we'll just do the first bit. So that's no. Na, ni, yu, ne, no. Easy. Right, now the H uh, row, I guess. Ha. You will learn this one uh, a little bit later. Much like ni, goes like this. That's actually the kanji for two, which is pronounced ni. Ha, in katakana, is the kanji for eight, which is pronounced hachi. So first one, and if you know any Chinese, this would be easy for you. The first one is this sort of thing here. The second one is a mirror image on the other side, and that's ha. Ha. Next up is he. He is, well, I mean, you'll see. It's like this kind of thing here. And then from here, stick a little thing out of it. He. It looks kind of like the kanji for seven, which is like that. But yeah, anyway, he, like this. Who is relatively, relatively simple. Who starts here and goes down. It's this thing. That's your whole thing. Who looks like a seven. Next up is he. We already know he, so we don't really have to go over this one. It's the same in both hiragana and katakana, so, you know, easy stuff. And next is ho. Ho starts with the line here. Then it goes a, a vertical line through it, so it's like a cross kind of thing. The next one has a thing coming out of it like this. Do not connect it as though it were o. It cannot be connected here. And then the last one is on the other side as well. Easy, right? If you end up doing it like this, that's a different thing altogether. That's a kanji that means tree, which is pronounced ki, or bok, depending on how you use it. But it's not this thing, so be careful about that. They have to have this gap here. Ho. Ha. Ki. Hu. He. He. Ho. I was like, where'd he go? He is up there, because we already know it. Ha, he, hu, he, and ho. Easy, easy stuff. Alright, so I moved the camera a little bit so you can see it a little better. Alright, practice time, like we do all the time. I will say the thing, and then I'll give you a couple seconds, and you write it down on your paper, and if you get it right, then everyone has a party or something. Here we go, ready? First. Ta. Chi. Remember, it's the C-H. Tsu, with the T-S kind of sound. Nightmare set, here we go. Te. To.
Top. We're going to move this camera again a little bit back this way so that it's not so weird off center. No! Knee. New. Neck. No. Anyone misses this one? Ha ha ha. Ha. He. Who. Hey. And ho. And there you go. You should be getting 15 out of 15 on every single one of these, except for the ones that don't have 15 in it, at which point you should be getting all of them. Alright, uh, go ahead and I guess if you feel like it, tell me how many you got right in the comments, tell me what I did well, tell me what you did well, tell me what would make things better, I don't care, just, you know, validate my existence. Um, yes, okay, so, I will see you guys next time when we do the next set of Katakana. Very soon after that we'll be able to, uh, start doing things with, like, writing actual words and learning when to use which alpha alphabet, when to use which set of script. So, uh, yes, that's all for this time. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!